My name. My name's Jeff. Hello, everybody. Thank you very much for joining us. Welcome back to Sips and Sales. My name is Paul. And my name is Julian. And today we're going to be tasting three peg whiskies. They've been very kind and they've sent us uh, three of their whiskies. They're a new sort of independent uh, startup whiskey company. We're going to be trying the blended whiskey, the single batch, and then the single cask whiskey. So thank you very much, Peg. That was very nice of you. Uh, let's just go for it. Let's just try them. So the first one that we are going to be trying is the blended, the peg blended whiskey. As you can see, there is a good bit out of that. Um, so yeah, what is what is it? Well, it's thirty pounds, forty percent alcohol. It's coloured and it's a blend of malt and grain whiskey. So yeah, the actual big bottle for this looks quite nice. Like the actual bottle itself, they put a lot of effort into the presentation. Looks okay. But what does the whiskey taste like? You don't necessarily care about the bottle. We want to know if the whiskey is good, don't we? That's what it's all about. So yeah, yeah. that's a uh, the we knows of it. Yeah, I mean it's sweet. You smell the sweetness. Mm. A little bit of orange, maybe a little bit of biscuit. Get that caramel straight away as well. Mm -hmm. It's quite. You really have to work at it though. It's not punchy. You do have to work a bit harder. For other things on the market for thirty pounds, you can sort of smell it straight away. But that's anyway, give it a taste. Okay. What do you think? More caramel, a little bit malty. Mm. Uh, there's a better alcoholness to it, almost like a um, wrapper. Like. Yeah. Sort of spirity. Mm. It's like, um, yeah, it's like grappa flavour. It it's, like, it's quite aggressive. Um, yeah. It's okay though, if you're tasting it. Yeah. I'll put the finish on it. Short finish. A little bit of caramel again. So when you taste it, like the taste, it's really brief in your mouth though, isn't it? Like as soon as you taste it, mm. you just sort of taste like these caramel flavors, these sweet flavors that you're talking about. And, and then it's gone. Yeah, then it's sort of gone. It's not amazing because I know what else is on the market for 30 quid um, that are pretty decent whiskeys, but it's their first go at making whiskey. Maybe they'll get better. Okay, let's give the single batch edition a try. It's one of 3,000 bottles. It's 45 pounds per bottle. It's a little bit of coloring in there, as you can see. It's non-chill filtered, and it's a mixture of malt and grain. Let's give it a try. I know, I mean, it's nice and sweet again. Got that vanilla flavor to it again. It's just maybe, like, see from the last one, right? So the, first, the blended one, you can smell it, and then it's sort of, you really had to work hard at it. Like we said, that was more oranges, and a little bit of biscuit, but you really had to work. You have to work in this as well, but it's maybe, I don't know, there's more alcohol to it. It is higher alcohol, so 6% more alcohol, but it's more of a burn. So it's nice and sweet on the nose. Uh, sort of like toffee, artificial toffee, like from a 50p mix. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah. Is that like, well, I, oh, well, we were talking earlier, like, what was it? Like, I said, it's like toffee, like, not Werther's original, but like, what? Mm -hmm. 20p mix when you had, when you were a kid, like, you used to get all these sweets, right? They weren't like the Werther's originals, but they were like, it's still good, but they were like the... It's the different, sort of, yeah. It was just different toffee that you were used to. Um, yeah, no, I get that, it's sort of taste of that. I don't know, what would it taste? More of that toffee. A little bit of vanilla. Still that that spirit, that spiritness is there. That's uh, grappa like. Yeah, I got that. It's quite spirity. Yeah, you said grappa. I said sort of tequila. Yeah, I get that. It is. It is spirity. I agree with you. It is sweet. Um, yeah, it is. It's annoying. It's a little bit spirity. Like, yeah, it actually is. It's not, like, what do we, and what we see usually in reviews is stuff like, oh, yeah, it's got a little bit of spice to it, but it's maybe, like, from the cask or from the whiskey. But for that, that is actual sort of alcohol. 
um, mm. spiciness to it. It's, it's, yeah. The finish on it again, like, sort of like the first one. S- sort of short, maybe a little bit fleeting. Brief. Yeah, soft finish. Yeah, it's not like, it doesn't linger there, but, it's okay. I mean, what what price is that again? Forty five. Uh, you can get a lot of stuff for forty five pounds. There. So, you know, I mean, why would you have peg over them? Yeah. What what makes them stand out? Yeah. So on to whiskey number three, we have that uh, single cask from Peg. So that's natural color, non chill filtered, seventy five pounds. 64.9% alcohol and 313 bottles. Now it says that it's seven years old, aged in a hog's head, but they don't tell you what whiskey it is. They just said it's from the Space Side region. Um, there's loads of whiskies in the Space Side region. I don't know if they can tell us for legal reasons or whatever, but if I'm spending 75 pounds on a bottle of whiskey, I'm probably wanting to know where it's from. They've got all the other information on there. Why can't they just tell us what it is? But um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Well, I will, I will have a nose. Part of the mystery. Part of the mystery. Yeah. So it's definitely, it's definitely a bit more in the nose in this one than there was in the last two. Yeah, I'd agree. Like, white wine, almost. Well, a little acetone. Still a bit sweet. Yeah, a little bit sweet. So it's floral. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's def- you're right. There is more to it than that than the other ones. There's a there's a the the sweetness is a sweetie like it's sweetness is a sweetie. Haribo. Yeah. Uh, but like Haribo fried eggs, the white bit. What do you think? It's strong. <laughs> Yeah. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's sixty-four point nine percent alcohol. Like that's what I'm saying. Like that's it's a good thing. Yeah, you can smell it. Yeah, like this is the most natural whiskey that they've got in their range. So, it to me, yeah, you're right. This is the most whiskey whiskey that they've got right now. Mm-hmm. Like the other two were really coloured. We didn't really get much off them, but this one, you know, you can. It's there. Yeah. So we're trying that right now at 64.9%. Definitely needs a wee bit of water. We tried it earlier with water. But I got like um, I got like coconut flavours. Um, it was a little bit nutty. So maybe not almonds, but maybe more like cashews. It's weird. I sort of get a weird thickness on it, a wee bit of oiliness. Um, maybe that is because that is actually all natural, so it's non-chill filtered. Everything's still in there. Um, I get that oiliness. Yeah. Yeah. You mean? But that's what I'm saying. Maybe it's because we're going from whiskies that were chill filtered to a proper natural whiskey. Yeah. All the oils back. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Tastes good. I mean, it's hot. It's that alcohol. It's it is. It's got it's got a lot more presence than the other two. Yeah, it's pretty sharp. But, I mean, we tried it with water earlier. And when you try it with water, it calms it down. Um, it brings it out a bit more. Yeah. There is there's a lot more to this one. Yeah. More yeah, more floral. Still sweet. Nice vanilla, coconut, floral. Um, you said, yeah, the white bit of the Haribo's egg. I like that. That's what it tastes like. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. It's like when you come down to it, like, if, you, if you were to pinpoint it to one taste, that would be it. Uh-huh. Yeah. A bit more of a finish on this one too. Mm. Mm-hmm. Like short, short to medium, sweet, but yeah. no longer. It's not. It's not caramelly like the other two. Yeah. The other two were a lot more caramelly than this. This. This is more like honey. It's a, it's a, a honey finish. Yeah. So there we are, folks. Thank you very much for watching. That's been a review of all three Peg Whiskies, the Blended, the Small Batch, and the Single Cask. Uh, an honest review, 
Uh, but if you want to learn more about Peg Whiskey's, check out their website. I think it's pegwhiskey.com. And check out their Instagram as well. Some good photos on there. Um, so that's us. I'm Paul. And I'm Julian. Thank you very much for watching. And we'll see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>